What's going on? It's World Famous 718. This is the Bigger Picture Automotive Systems Show. Uh, 12 volt reviews and one on ones. Today's segment is going to be relay 101. Automotive relays. This is a picture of a relay. This is what it looks like. It has a harness with a bunch of wires sticking out of it. A lot of people don't know what it's for. Has many, many applications in automotive installations. Um, this show is not going to explain every application. There's far too many applications. Basically, though, it's an electromagnetic switch. Um, it allows for you to use a small amount of current to power a component that requires a larger amount of current. Several applications you can do reverse polarity if something needs a negative and you only have a positive output. You can switch it to a negative output through the relay, things like that. Uh, the most common relay that we use in our industry is the Bosch type. Bosch is a company. This is actually a magic car. It's just the name of a company, but they call it the Bosch type. The industry has adopted that name. A Bosch type single pole double throw relay. You see this is like a schematic diagram of what is inside of the relay. It's a single pole double throw relay and the relay itself inside is composed of a coil which would be terminal 86 and 85, a common post, which is terminal 30 on the relay, a normally open, which is this NO indicates normally open post, which is terminal 87, and a normally closed post, which would be terminal 87A on a relay. If you can look in here, you can see how it corresponds. You have 30 on the bottom, 85 and 86 as the coils on the side, you have your 87A in the center and 87 at the top. That's how the relay is. When you connect the relay to the harness, these, uh, when you connect it actually however it goes, there's only one way it can go. And here somewhere just like that. And the wires will come out from 85 would be this, 86 would be this, and you connect it to the component that you need to connect it to. But going back to the diagram, the way it works is that normally closed you have terminal 30 and 87A have continuity when the relay is not energized, meaning there's no power to the relay. This coil, 86 and 85, gets energized when you have negative and power, um, power being 12 volts, connected to the relay. It'll activate this coil, it'll turn into a magnet, it'll bring this sliver of metal, this is actually a sliver of metal, down to 87 and 87 the wire that comes out of the harness would go to whatever component you have that's basically how a relay works you, you connect it to power and ground the coil activates common brings that terminal down and then continuity of whatever you have connected to your common terminal would go out through there i will give you some examples of how a relay is used in the automotive world we uh we like i said you can use a low current output to power something that requires a larger amount of current. Um, a relay, the coils of a relay, you can activate it with milliamps, like 200 milliamps of current, and it can generate up to 30 to 40 amps of current coming out of it. So you can easily power like components that require a large amount of current. For instance, if you have a system that you have three amplifiers, each requiring two amps of current to turn on, from the head unit, you would connect, uh, you know a little bit about um, installations, you'll fly right by this, it might go over your head, but this is just a general overview. You have a head unit that has a remote wire. The remote wire is what turns the amp on when you turn the radio on. You ground out your, your radio, power the 12 volts from the radio, you connect to the relay, 30 on the relay. 86 and 85 are the coils, so you put 85, you'll ground that, you'll get your power for the relay to turn the relay on from the remote wire on the radio, which is a 5 amp output. So you got 5 amps going through the relay. 5 amps from the head unit would not turn on the 3 amplifiers because they need 6 amps. A total of 2 plus 2 plus 2 is 6 amps needed to turn it on. Without a relay, just connecting the remote wire to these amps, the amps would turn on and then they'll turn off. It, the radio won't be able to power them. So we run it through the relay. We get 12 volts from the, re, from the head unit to the relay. 
ground out the relay, get power from the remote wire. Now, when the coil is activated, the 12 volts that is on 30 would go through because the coil is activated from 87A, which is normally closed, to the normally open position. It'll go from here straight through to 87 and come out the other side. Now, coming out from this other side is the 5 amps from the remote wire amplified by the relay. You got 30 to 40 amps coming out here. Easily can turn on these 3 amps. You connect the remote wires from each amp, splice them, connect this 87 wire from the relay harness. That will be the wire that comes out of the harness. And your amps will turn on, no problem. Increasing power from a relay. Another application for a relay, you can reverse polarity. Like let's say from a head unit, the remote wire throws out a 12 volt positive. For your power antenna on a car, you usually need a negative output to turn it on because it's already powered with 12 volts. You need a negative to turn on and raise that antenna. The head unit throws out positive. So we'll use our relay to reverse the polarity from this head unit, like so. Relay, right here. Head unit, 12 volts, you put that on 86. Ground your 85, with power and ground, you have your coil activated like the magnet, it'll magnetize. Instead of putting 12 volts to your common, you'll put ground. So now, when this activates, ground from here will shoot through. Not, not 12 volts, because you put it ground. Whatever you put here will shoot through to, 80, to 87. You throw ground out, it'll shoot ground out. So now ground is coming out. 12 volts is coming in, ground is coming out. You reverse the polarity through the relay. Now this gets its negative, it already has positive. Turn the radio on, power antenna will go up. Reverse polarity application on the relay. That's two applications that we use relays for. Um, like I said, there's a bunch of applications. They use them in alarms, they use them in, uh, in special installations if you want your headrest monitor to turn on when you press this button all those weird crazy installs that you see on TV trust me there's a lot of relay applications going on it's, we use these things a whole lot in what we're doing um, like I said this is just a, a basic general overview of a relay it's a single pole double throw is the common type it comes with the uh, the coil and the normally open, normally closed, and the common contact, the harness that connects to it, these are the wires that come out of it, this is what it looks like. If you ever get into heavy installations, you're going to see a lot of this. And um, that's just the basic one-on-one -on, -one on relays, that's it. We'll definitely get into it a whole lot more. Stay tuned, the next show we're going to do another one-on-one. -on -one. The next show is one-on-one -on, -one on uh, capacitors. You put those capacitors in your car, you get the voltage that you need when you got the booming system. We're going to show you how that works, what's the internal components of it. We're going to break down a capacitor for you. Thank you for tuning in. God bless.